Our evolution from ape-like creatures millions of years ago to what we are now has intrigued generations of scientists. But there's always been confusion about how exactly we progressed. Now scientists have extracted DNA from human bones 400,000 years old, which they hope will shed light on our evolution. Our science correspondent, Pallad Ghosh, reports. Scientists scramble towards a place they call the Pit of Bones. These small underground tunnels in northern Spain are the only way into a cave which was once home to primitive humans who lived 400,000 years ago. And here are their bones, perfectly preserved. Back at the lab from one of the thigh bones, they extract genetic material called mitochondrial DNA to solve the mystery of how modern humans evolved. I'm very excited by this development and obviously if we can get not just mitochondrial DNA but the DNA from the rest of the genome we really can build up a very full story of these earlier stages of human evolution which so far we haven't been able to do. For more than a century scientists have built up a picture of how humans evolved by measuring the size and shape of ancient skulls and bones but DNA can show blow by blow how humans changed over hundreds of thousands of years. The first ape with human features evolved into primitive humans who lived around one and a half million years ago. And skipping forward, scientists know that modern humans emerged 200,000 years ago. But they don't know from fossils how we got from here to here. It's called the muddle in the middle. Scientists hope they can now begin to clear up the muddle by analysing the DNA in fossils. The editor who published the research in the journal Nature believes that analysis of ancient DNA is a more reliable way of determining how our species emerged. We're now on a cusp. Whereas before we had to do everything with bones and stones uh, and teeth, uh, now we have DNA and DNA can tell you things that bones and stones and teeth just can't. There will no doubt be many tell the true story of human evolution. Paula Ghosh, BBC News.